Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and it's actually day seven of my seven days of mobile workflows. So thank you for those who have been following along and I promised you I'd finish it off with a bang. And this is a, you know, a fantastic opportunity for me to introduce a brand new mobile application from Adobe called Adobe Comp CC. Now, what's Comp? Well, if you noticed, we've been working all week on getting things ready. We worked in Photoshop and Lightroom to get our images ready for Photoshop Mix and Lightroom Mobile. And then we created uh, other assets in Brush. We created a Brush for Illustrator. We created a Vector using Shape. And then we you know, kind of brought some of that together with Adobe Illustrator Draw and then over into Illustrator. And then we also created some color themes. Well, normally in that desktop workflow, you'd be creating all these things and then ultimately probably bringing them into uh, InDesign to lay out the final pieces. Well, InDesign started out as a print-only application, but then became more of a multimedia or digital media application. So Comp, if you think about it, is the same kind of tool or evolution, where it's the evolution of the bar napkin, where you would normally just kind of jot down how you wanted the layout to look, show it to the client or the designer, and hope they go home and do it like you did on a napkin. Well, now instead of the napkin, you got your iPad. And your iPad becomes that comp tool uh, digitally that not only lets you, you know, create the layout to look the way you want it to look, but also, and more importantly, giving you the ability to actually finish the process in your favorite application on the desktop, whether it's InDesign, Photoshop, or Illustrator. Now, with that said, uh, your comp or your comp can be a comp for anything. It doesn't have to be a print design. It could be a web design. It could be a mobile application. It could be a screen. It could be anything you want to design. You can comp it in Adobe Comp CC. So without further ado, let's take our first look at Adobe Comp. I've got my Adobe application open here. I'm going to go ahead and just swipe over to my next screen where I'm going to launch Adobe Comp. Now, Adobe Comp gives me some samples to kind of inspire me. So the one on the far right here is a uh, web design. So you can see it's got visually rich. It's got the menus at the top. And again, kind of just comping the way a home page might look. The second one or middle one here is the comp for maybe an ad for the backpack. And again, it's just very visual, very beautiful. Looks like it was done in maybe Illustrator or InDesign. And of course, the screen design here for maybe a mobile app or a mobile website. Uh, the adventure guide. So uh, just designed on what it would look like on a mobile screen. So how do I get started? Well, on the left hand side, just like in most Adobe applications, you tap the plus sign. But the difference here is instead of getting just a blank screen and you're on your own, you actually first start out picking a format because maybe you want to work on uh, a mobile device. So the top row is iPad, iPhone, different orientations. Maybe you want to work on a print document. So the middle screen is letter, A4, tabloid, business card. And of course, the um, bottom row is for web designs, different web screen sizes. But what if none of those fit? For example, let's say I wanted to design a Facebook banner. Well, I could tap the uh, new format and I can go ahead and just start typing the name of the format. In this case, it's going to be Facebook banner. And I know a Facebook banner is 851 pixels by 315. So now when I save that format, I never have to remember what size a Facebook banner is. And whenever I want to design a new one, I just go to Adobe Comp, tap Facebook banner, and then it's got the right screen, the right screen size, and I can then just go ahead and lay out the way I want it to look. So we're going to do one more here, or actually, uh, let's go ahead and do a, uh, let's do a new format here, and we'll do one that I don't see, and that is letter wide or landscape. So that would be 792 points by 612. So that'll give us our new format. And from there, we can go ahead and tap letter wide and it will open up a letter wide document. Now, in the upper right hand corner, I've, I already see the tools I would need. I see the first tool which is a shape tool for creating shapes like you know rectangles and the circles and so forth and so on. The middle one, my text tool, because you know if I'm going to comp something, chances are I'm going to want to tell it or put where I want text to be in the comp. And of course, the third one bring, is for bringing in images. I already know those icons from my other Adobe applications. But what about that bar napkin concept where you would actually be drawing out what you wanted it to look like? Well, we haven't lost that. If you tap the button on the left-hand side, you can switch into the draw shape mode. 
And so for example, I can draw a nice big rectangle across the top of my page. And if I put an X in it, I'm telling it that I want that to be a placeholder for an image. If I didn't put the X in it, then I'm just telling it to be a rectangle. So I can also go in and for example, I could draw a circle and there's a circle. I could draw another uh, square and there's a square. I can draw another placeholder and there's a placeholder. If I want text, I can draw another shape like a rectangle, put a couple of lines in it and then it knows I want text. If I want to draw a rule or a line, just draw the line and it will give me the rule. So very cool to be able to do this level of just thought process right here. Now, once I'm done drawing and I kind of want to rearrange things, I can tap the X to get out of the drawing mode and now I can click on each one of these shapes. I can rearrange them. I can draw them or I'm sorry, I resize them. If I want to duplicate them, I can. So now I got one that's exactly the same size. I get smart guys to help me line it up. So there we got it. And now I want to go ahead and make that the same, same height. And of course the circle, I can move over and put that there. Now, if I don't like where this is going, instead of balling up the napkin and throwing it away, I've got a three finger history. So from here, I can go ahead and hold down three fingers and then I can go back in time and it will change my design based on what I did over time. So very cool to be able to do this. And of course, I can still tap on any object and delete it. So now at this point, I've got the placeholder for my large image. Then on the right hand side, oh, let's go ahead I'm out of drawing mode there. Let's go ahead and draw our placeholder for our next image on that side. And then what I'd love to do is have some text here. And that's enough to get me going. Now what I want to do is get out of the drawing mode and then go from here. So first thing I want to do is I want to fill that top rectangle with an actual image. So I double tap on it and it says, okay, where do you want to get your image from? And it gives me pretty much everything I'd want. It gives me, I can get the image from my iPad. I can get it. I can take a photo right now with the camera. I can get it from my creative cloud files area. And that's pretty extensive because it's not just what's in your creative cloud files folder, but it's anything you did in illustrator draw. It's anything you did in illustrator line, which is another mobile application. It's anything you did in Lightroom. Here are all my Lightroom photos, including all my New York photos are a fair game. It's also giving me everything I've done in Photoshop, Photoshop sketch, or I can say that I want to grab files from the market assets. So I can go and search or grab market assets as for placeholder images or actual market assets that I want to use. So if I don't have the photography, or I don't have the symbols, or I need a picture of a CD-ROM or a picture of a, a iPad, I can just go ahead and go to the market and search for those things. Now, I do have the photo that I want, so let's go ahead and double tap on it. And let's go to my files, and let's go to my files folder, and let's go to my demo files on Creative Cloud, in my New York folder, that composition we worked on in, in Lightroom and Photoshop Mix and Photoshop on the desktop, and there it is. So bringing that image down from Creative Cloud and putting it right here in my mobile application. The next one I wanna do, you might have guessed already, let's go ahead and go get the file that we worked on with Illustrator and Illustrator Draw. So again, bringing these elements together. So there's my illustration, and of course I can scale that and have it um, bleed off the page if I need it to, or just at least go to the edge. So, and of course it's, it looks like it's not fitting, so let's fix that. Let's say fit the image. So that way it will go ahead and make a frame that fits the size of that image. And of course I can still scale it down if I need to and put that where I need it to be. So you get the idea. Now, this text is great, but I was thinking more of a headline here. As a matter of fact, I was thinking more of a few headlines. So I can go ahead and resize this to get something nice and big just by using the on-screen control. Now, I actually want to duplicate this a couple times. Uh, let's go ahead and put in our first words, New York. So just typing on, the, uh, on my external keyboard here. And next thing I wanna do is just simply uh, duplicate that and duplicate it one more time. So now I've got three New Yorks. The middle one, I'm gonna to change to an ampersand. 
and the last one I'm going to change to the word design. Now, of course, this is cool um, being what it is, being the color that it is right now, but I would love to, number one, change the color. So remember those color themes that we created using Adobe Color? I have access to them. So I have access to the color picker, which lets me design this with any color I want. That's great. I also have my themes, basically all the themes I've ever created and all the themes are available out there. Uh, as a matter of fact, if those are community themes, if I want to grab my themes, then I can go ahead and go into my Adobe demo uh, library, which is where we created that New York uh, Liberty theme. So for example, if I want the green here for that New York, uh, I can get the green color for the New York. So colors are there, great, but here's the big one. Not only did I get the ability to add type, but as far as I know, this is really the first mobile application that not only lets me type, but also lets me use my fonts. Not just fonts, but my fonts. What I mean by that is there are applications out there that let you type. There are applications out there that let you choose fonts. But how many of them let you put your own fonts in? None that I've seen so far. They may exist, but I haven't seen them. Now, with your Creative Cloud membership, you get access to Typekit desktop fonts. And you've been syncing those if you've been working along with us. Well, now you have access to those Typekit desktop fonts on your mobile device. So I can go in and I can say, grab my text tool. And not only can I choose what font I want, I can see the ones I've synced to the desktop previously, but I get the ability Let's go in here and, for example, use Proxima Nova, and we'll use Proxima Nova Black. Okay, great. I got the font. Made it a little too big for this. No problem. Just make it a little wider. But not only did I get the Proxima Nova that I want, but I want to adjust it. And this is, again, something you would think, oh, I got to wait till I get back to InDesign or Illustrator or Photoshop to do. Nope. I can just go to my type menu one more time, and I have spacing. I have the ability to control the letter spacing right here. Just make that a little bit tighter tracking right here in Adobe Comp. Now, same thing with the ampersand. And we're going to just, just go, I don't want to sit here and have to figure out how big I want it. I'll just do it visually. I'll pick it up and I'll also change the font for this. So we'll go to our font menu one more time. Uh, we'll, this time we'll choose AVO or AZO. And there it is, nice thick font. And of course, I have the ability to change the color, just like we did before, so I can make it that nice gold color. But there's a couple problems. Number one, it's above my New York, and that's because I created it after New York. So I would love the ability to not only change the stacking order, just by using a slider, putting it below New York instead of on top, but I even have the ability to change and this is, I, I about die when I saw this, the ability to change the opacity. So I can even drop the opacity of my images or text or shapes right here in comp. And if you wanted to take it up a notch, for those of you who are gonna ask, can you rotate it? The answer is yes. Just use two fingers and you can rotate that object. So let's go in and finish this up. So we're gonna take the word design and same thing, we're gonna give it a little type treatment uh, let's give it a little color treatment first. And let's go in and also give it a little font treatment. So let's do this. And I'm going to use one that I haven't used yet. Let's use Mans Premium. Now, again, if I don't like any of this, once I get to the desktop, I can always change it. So I can, again, just keep comping this, keep moving these around until I get them laid out the way I want. If I want them to be lined up, I get smart guides to kind of help me keep them aligned or I can make it arbitrary. Oh my God, we're here. We're at the point to where we're creating things on our mobile device that we would normally have to wait till we got to a product like InDesign to do or Illustrator to do. So we've done our image. We've grabbed vector and raster images. We can of course continue to do images. We've done our text. We've done fonts. We've done letter spacing. We've done colors, our color themes. We basically took advantage of everything that we created in the past week and brought it forward here into Comp. So with that said, now what I'd love to do is 
finish it or keep working on it at least on the desktop. So I have a couple choices. If this were it, if I were done, I could just simply say share this and I get the standard share screen where I can send it or open it up in another application, send it out as an image. Hey, take a look at my comp. Or I could go in and more importantly, send it to my computer. But not just sending a static image to my computer. Whether I send it to Illustrator, InDesign, or Photoshop, it comes over as a native file, complete with all the individual objects and layers as necessary. So for example, if I send it over to InDesign, it's actually preparing and making an IDML file that can be opened up in InDesign with all of the components and elements there. If I send it over to Photoshop, it will actually create a Photoshop native file with all of the layers, mask, and everything necessary to make this look the way it looks in comp. So I get the ability to have my cake and eat it too. Start with that bar napkin on my iPad, but not just have a napkin. When I get back to my computer, I've actually got a design I can work on. So I just finished sending it from the iPad. Let's give it a second or two to make its way over to my desktop, and then we'll continue it in InDesign. And here we are now in InDesign with my document open and of course, completely editable. I can click on the image. I can replace it with a higher resolution version. I can adjust where the image sits in the frame. I have complete control over my type. If I want to change this to New York, from New York to new, I don't know, fork, <laughs> I can, or undo that. And of course, um, I get right back to my type. And speaking of my type, it's the same fonts. So if I were to select the ampersand, which is rotated, I get the Azo font and of course the um, uh, script font, which is uh, Mayence Premium. So there it is. I started a workflow on, you know, seven days ago from Lightroom Mobile, completed the process in Photoshop Mix, created brushes and colors and vectors and all the various applications, and we put it together today in the brand new Adobe Comp. And again, if I want to see this without any guides, just hit my letter W on my keyboard, and we can see what it would look like if it were printed or put on a mobile screen or wherever we want to take this next. So, hope you enjoyed this week of mobile workflows for creatives, and more importantly, hope you enjoy the new Adobe Comp CC, which is available as, the, as watching this video. Uh, you should be able to go download this from the App Store. Have fun and create great things. Take care and we'll catch you on the next one.